a cure for cancer. All right, so I'll admit to a bit of uh, clickbait here. But it's not total nonsense either. There are very exciting possibilities in treating cancer with messenger RNA vaccines. Of course, we have heard uh, all about COVID vaccines using mRNA, but you may be surprised to hear that this technology has been researched for at least 20 years with the aim of treating cancer. The rapid development of the COVID vaccines has been made possible by that kind of research. Messenger RNA is the blueprint for the production of proteins by cells and the COVID vaccines rely on injecting synthetic mRNA that codes for the production of the spike proteins found on the surface of the SARS-CoV-2 virus. And of course, we've become so familiar with the pictures of the spike protein. Anyway, this injection stimulates the production of antibodies that will recognize this protein should they encounter it again, such as on a real virus. The antibodies will then bind to the spike protein, which the virus uses to gain entry into healthy cells. Once inside, the virus will then hijack the cell's machinery to start making more copies of itself. The antibodies that have been generated as a result of the vaccine bind to the spike protein and prevent the virus from using it as a key to enter a cell. Now on to cancer. Cells produce all sorts of proteins, but cancer cells are abnormal, and as a result of a mutation, produce some proteins that are not produced by healthy cells. A tumor can be biopsied and is DNA isolated. This DNA can then be compared with DNA from healthy cells, and the mutation that codes for the normal abnormal protein, uh, termed a neoantigen, can be identified. Unfortunately, this abnormal protein, which is specific to that patient, is hidden from immune cell activity by all the normal proteins on the surface of a cell. The challenge, then, is to sensitize immune cells to the abnormal protein so they can seek it out and destroy the cell to which it is attached. This can be done by synthesizing in the lab the messenger RNA that codes for the neoantigen and formulating it into a vaccine that targets the abnormal cells, which are specific to that patient, hence the term personal mRNA vaccine. When this mRNA is injected into a patient, it produces the neoantigen that is then recognized by immune cells, known as T cells, as a foreign substance, and these cells mount an attack against it. But since this neoantigen is also found on cancer cells, these are also attacked and destroyed. Anyway, that's the theory, but does it work? Although so far no mRNA cancer vaccines have been approved for general use, a large number of clinical trials have already been carried out, with some showing encouraging results, especially when combined with checkpoint inhibitors. These are drugs that block proteins that would normally stop the immune system from attacking cancer cells. Basically, we now have proof of concept that mRNA vaccines can work against cancer, and while many challenges remain, there is real hope out there. And that for today is our Kappa Joe.